that surrounds me If we hold ourselves together we'll go far Hey guys, Edith Essentials here. Today's DIY is going to be with hangers. Now I'm going to be starting off by removing the hooks. The first DIY will be a quick and easy shoe rack. Starting off with this piece of wood that I got from Home Depot. And I'm going to be using four hangers for this one. Two hangers on one side and two hangers on the other side. I'll be putting an extra wood at the bottom. Remember to always drill your holes first with a drill gun before then using screws. I added holes here in the middle. Now I'm going to be attaching it to the wood. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. When I was done with this side, I repeated the same thing for the other side. I'm going to add wood glue on all the attachments and leave it overnight to dry. The next day, I spray painted it silver, just the hangers, and then I'm going to be using marble contact paper on the wood. I plan to use this as a wall shelf as well, just to see if it's going to work. So because of that, I'm going to be decorating the back with frames that I spray painted silver. And then this particular one was gotten from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to cut just half and spray paint it silver. And this will be attached in the middle. I attached the frames to the wood with screws. This was super easy, right? For the next DIY, I'm going to be removing the hooks of the hangers and splitting them into two. I used this line in the middle as my guide to give me equal halves. I'm going to take off the wood protrusion here with scissors. I'll be using the size of drill bits because of the dowel pins that I'll be using for the project. I'm going to see if it fits before I do the rest. For each and every one of the holes, I'll be using wood glue first to make them strong before inserting the dowel pins. I'll be doing this for all the hanger pieces. When I was done with that, I kept it aside and then took this piece of wood that I've had at home for a while now, and it's from a turntable. And I'll be drilling holes around it. I drilled just one hole just to see if the thickness of my wood was good enough, and it's okay. So I'm gonna continue with the lines to give me equal spacing for the holes.
I'm using the same drill bit that I use for the hankers because of the dowel pins. Now I'm going to be attaching the hanger pieces to the wood. I'll be finishing up this side. It is important that every hanger piece should fit in a snug way. When I was done, I applied wood glue around each point where the hanger pieces meet with the wood and then used heavy weights to press it on it because the height was a little bit too high. So I put it down just a bit using 10 pounds of weight. I left it overnight to dry and this is what it looks like in I made two. I took it out and then I spray printed it silver. There are two designs that I want to make for the middle. One of it is going to be using old paint cans and gluing them together using a strong adhesive and using tiles to decorate the tin cans. Like I said earlier, I used a strong adhesive to attach the tin cans together and then I also used a very thin duct tape to hold it together as well. Now I'm going to be attaching the tiles to the tin can using duct tape first just to see what it's going to look like. I was sure that it was okay. I glued it to the tin can with a strong adhesive and I am so amazed at how firm the tiles adhered to the tin can. Now I left it overnight to dry and then I took it out and I spray printed it silver. Another option for the middle is this large hurricane vase that I have and I'm going to spray paint the inside with this mirror effect spray paint. This is what the vase looks like and now I'm going to be putting the hurricane vase on top. Now for the top of the table, I take the second design and turn it to the opposite side before placing it on top. And then putting a large mirror that I have on top of it and this is what it looks like. I did not glue anything together because I want to give you guys different options. I'm also going to be looking at how both of them appeal to me and I will choose one before I then glue it together. These designs are versatile. You can also use them for a wall clock. Isn't it wonderful to know that hangers can give you other lovely items that are useful in the home? I have another DIY video on how I used hangers to decorate the home and I'll leave a link for that in the description box below. I know it's getting harder by the day with COVID-19 situation but I want you all to try and stay strong with good hygiene habits to minimize the spread and constant prayers to God to guide us through this trying time. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. Now don't forget to like it and share it with your friends and families as well. God bless you all and thank you so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.